I think something that I personally really took away both from the classes and just watching the professors interact and discuss, you know, their ups and downs and doing their own research is that like the personal fear you have of this failure of not necessarily doing everything right the first time is actually very empowering. And so I definitely am still really struggling to construct some of the things that she wants and to, you know, make these sort of adjustments and figure out how to save things correctly or whatnot. But it's been very useful to be able to have not only the understanding of like the jargon that is necessary in order to search for those kinds of responses, but it's also really empowering, I honestly want to say, mm -hmm. to be able to know that everything can be eventually found. And it's just that process in which you go in order to create something. And I think that's really it's been exciting to see professors talk about, I don't know, struggling to, you know, get into a specific room to talk to a certain person or struggling to, you know, make a regression work for maybe yeah. something. And it's been really interesting to then have those own similar experiences where you run into your own troubles, but you now, I think, especially with the class that we took, have the resources and skills to understand why something went wrong, even if you don't get it in its entirety, but you understand why and then the process in which to fix, which I have someone who is not super skilled with computers, I feel I am already miles ahead of where I was when I started, which has been really wonderful. From my perspective, you know, obviously I'm a faculty member here at the university, and hence the faculty director of this. And we, of course, as faculty have a vision of what, how we think that this program is designed and how it meets its goals and so forth. But what I'd really like to hear from each of you is kind of like, what has been something that like, from this overall, overall impression you've taken from this that maybe you wouldn't have realized prior to entering this program, but now it's become very evident to you, hence after entering this program. And so I'll just open that up to any one of you who'd like to be able to answer that. I think what's been most surprising, just kind of doing this program and spending a whole summer really in social sciences departments and engaging with faculty and professors, is that it's really shifted and transformed my notion of what I believe research to be. Yeah. I think I... No, I am not alone in this belief that when many students come to college, when you hear the term research, you often think of, you know, a kid in a lab coat pipetting for hours on ends and running experiments and explosions and things like that. And I really think that's awesome, but that has never been something that I wanted to do, you know, to expand outside of the classroom what I've been interested in studying and to do actual research. And so the big draw for me when trying to do something over the summer that was interested in both my studies but went beyond just like the history anthropology classes I've taken is something that I think oftentimes students just don't realize exists or has access to is that there is social science research going on and it yeah. happens and it's real. Um, but I think what I really enjoyed about this program is that we were able to come together and be introduced to resources that can help us be successful in those research positions, to meet with actual current, you know, well-respected faculty that are engaging in meaningful, important work, and then to also be able to, you know, meet with fellow students that are, you know, part of this body of social science research that's going on. And I think for me, just the, the sheer accessibility of what's actually happening on this campus 